Hey, I'm Dr. Popular. And I'm Ernest Khan. Today we're gonna teach you the five things every single yo-yoer needs to know. So the five things are, we're gonna show you how to string the yo-yo onto your finger. We're gonna show you how to wind the yo-yo, throw the yo-yo, get the yo-yo back to your hand, and lastly, yo-yo maintenance. Awesome, that's the five things. Apparently, I they look a little confused, Doc. No, I think, they, oh, you're right. Yeah, that one is. I think we should show them. Cool. Yeah. All right, we're gonna break this down. Step one, how to put the yo-yo on your finger. First thing we're gonna learn is how to make a slip knot. This is what your slip knot is gonna look like when it's finished. To start off with though, your string probably looks like this. Take your string and fold it. Wrap it around itself. And then you're gonna push the loop through the hole. Pull it tight, and the extra string just gets cut off. Cool, now you've got your slip knot, but you're not gonna put your finger through this hole because it doesn't change size. What you're actually gonna do is push this string through the loop that you just made. Just like that. And you'll notice the string can change size now, so it can fit any finger perfectly. Slip it on your finger, your middle finger, between these two knuckles, and tighten it by just pulling. Now every time you toss it, it's gonna stay snug, it's not gonna fall off. That's your slip knot. Now that you know how to put your string on your finger, we're gonna teach you how to wind your yo-yo. You're gonna get really good at winding yo-yos. To start, hold on to one half of the yo-yo, stick your finger out, wind over your finger, go under your finger. This loop is going to come out when you throw the yo-yo, so don't worry about it. You should end up like this. Now you're ready to learn the power throw. To start your power throw, first you wanna make sure the yo-yo is facing the right direction. By facing the right direction, you just need to make sure it's able to unwind the right way. In this case, it's not. So you just wanna turn it, and then it's able to unwind. By unwind, it's just gonna roll the direction it's coming off of your hand. Once your yo-yo is wound up properly and facing the right direction, just make a fist, make a muscle, and keep your elbow up high so you don't hit the ground. And you're just gonna to toss overhand like this. Now we're gonna show you how to get the yo-yo back to your hand. Modern yo-yos are unresponsive yo-yos. What that means is you can't get it to come back up to your hand by just tugging it. Old yo-yos are responsive yo-yos, you just tug them. Modern yo-yos require a bind back to your hand. To start your bind, throw a power throw, bring your left hand in front of the string, bring your right hand forward, Line the right hand string with the yo-yo, and then bring your right hand back up. You'll make this little check mark here. Pinch with your left hand, pinch the string, lower the string into the gap, and pull with your right hand. What you're actually gonna be doing is feeding the string into the bearing. It gets just enough string to grab, and as soon as you feel it start to vibrate, let go, and the yo-yo's gonna come back up to your hand. Your string looks pretty twisted by now. Let's show you how to change it. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to change your yo-yo string. You wanna unwind the string, just take it off just like that, swap it out for a freshie. After you get that new string, you are going to unwind the string just like this. So you have that little loop and put it right through the yo-yo and just wind over, just like that. You guys are doing awesome. The last thing we're gonna cover is yo-yo maintenance. Let's take the yo-yo apart. You can untwist it. You'll see you have two yo-yo halves, string, and a bearing. You'll also notice these silicone rings around where the bearing sits. Those are what make the yo-yo responsive enough to come back up to your hand. The silicone rings, the bearing, and the string are all parts you can find easily online at yo-yo stores. When you want to put your yo-yo back together, 
Just put the bearing back on and screw the yo-yo back together without putting the string on. The reason is you don't want to accidentally catch the string on the side of the bearing. So once your yo-yo is back together, put the string on and you're ready to throw again. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching our video. And don't forget the most important part about yo-yoing, having fun. Chicks.